So we want to solve for the limit as x and y approaches 0, 0 of x squared y over x squared plus y squared. We're going to solve this by using polar coordinates. So the limit, instead of x and y approaching 0, 0, we're going to have the limit as r approaches 0 from the right. Because the idea here is that r is a radius, and the radius can never be negative. So it can only be greater than or equal to 0. So that's why it's approaching 0 from the right. x squared turns into r squared times cosine squared. y is just r sine theta. And then x squared plus y squared is r squared. The r squareds are going to cancel. And so we have r times cosine squared theta times sine theta. The limit depends only on r. So cosine squared theta and sine theta, you could just think of that as constants. Regardless, when we plug in r equals 0, we have 0 times cosine squared times sine, which is equal to 0. And so our final limit is 0.